This is what happens when you bish too hard in the kitchen. We are back for another episode of Bitchin' in the Kitchen. I am super stoked this episode because I ordered t-shirts. You probably can't see them. That's fine. But I got t-shirts made for Bitchin'. I got my stickers on the way. And I'm ready to give them all out. So um, I was just advertising this on Instagram. Getting back to what I was saying. Today I will be making a pork tenderloin. I don't know what it was called. Like pork tenderloin by Natasha's Kitchen is literally the website I'm on. And then I actually bought two cookbooks. Okay. Here's the first one. The complete cooking for two cookbook because you know, I'm literally only cooking for myself and like a friend here and there. But check this one out. Thug Kitchen because apparently like the recipes in here are really good. And it'd be nice to just not eat red meat as often. It's kind of my goal this year is to kind of cut out red meat, eat more chicken, fish, or just proteins that aren't red meat. My side dish, well, I'm making two in case one of them turns out bad. I've never used one of these before. I still am convinced that this is a Halloween decoration. We'll see how this goes. I don't know, I just don't cook with these Halloween themed vegetables. You know, I've never done it, but I hear they're really good. And then I got some processed, you know what? Scratch that. I got some authentic rice that I actually stuck in this box. And uh, it's gonna be great. For a solid five minutes, I have been looking at my phone because you can actually see me on my phone. I'm, the GoPro is great. GoPro Hero 6, highly recommend it. Just buy the camera already. I'm literally like, why is it so dark in here? Why is the light only hitting my face? This looks weird. And then I just looked up and the lights were off. So that was my embarrassing moment of the day. Other than that, I had a beautiful day. I learned a lot. I grew a lot as I have been so focused on this year. And I had fun, man, work should be fun. Actually, before I even get started, I'm gonna start today's episode off with a lesson but you're right, I should at least like start unwrapping the things because like, you know, I can't spend 30 minutes just talking and never getting around to food because what'll happen is I'm gonna order Uber Eats and then this will have all been for nothing. I don't know what to expect with this. Um, I've never cooked with pork tenderloin before. And this is probably only my second time making a dish with pork. Looks like I am supposed to trim the tenderloin of fat and any silver skin and pat dry with paper towel. Well, I don't see any silver skin. Woo! Oh man. This is gonna be just as easy as... I literally was about to say as kitchen. I am mixing up chicken and kitchen so bad right now, I just... That's the kind of day I've had. Like I had a very highly, pro thank you for asking. I had a very highly productive kind of day today at work. Ooh, that's the silver they're talking about. Oh my God. Guys, I figured it out. Oh, I'll cut this off and show you. I said how the ingredients told me to peel off the fat and the silver. Well, if you look at this part right here, it like kind of, when you hold it up at the light, it reflects and looks a little bit silver. So that was just my aha moment. I figured out what the instructions were actually trying to tell me. It kind of looks like, what's a, some sort of nigiri, like a, like a tuna or something? Is tuna red? That was a stupid question. I have to, I already took off most of the fat. Am I supposed to take all of the fat? Like literally that's gonna take me forever. I thought I was done with this, you know? This is just, it's just a process. I just don't want to deal with this. Like my hand hurts, ow. I got like pork in my cut, man. Pork does not feel good in cuts at all. Why did I, that, that, that is that is the weirdest like statement that's ever come out of my mouth. But it's okay, I'm proud of myself for just going with whatever my brain wanted to say. The instructions say to poke a bunch of holes in the pork tenderloin. And I think it is too, because I haven't marinated this overnight because of course I just, 
don't do enough meal prepping. But this is a like no need to marinate overnight recipe, which helps me out tremendously. All right, next we're gonna hit we're gonna hit the spices. I'm gonna rub them on here, and then I'm gonna get started on the impossible Halloween gourd gourd gourd. However you say this, I don't know. I just I don't know what these are called. Acorn squash. We're gonna call it that, but it's Halloween. It's a Halloween vegetable. That's what I'm gonna say. Cause I can't say the G word, gourd or gourd, whatever. However you wanna interpret that. This is literally the third attempt I'm making to try to talk about the lesson that I've learned today. Just find your passion, pursue your passion. Money isn't the main objective. For a lot of people it is. I used to be that way. I mean, right after I graduated college, the first thing on my mind was money, 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 money. I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna buy a car, I'm gonna buy a house, all these things. Life is meant to be experienced. But ever since quitting my former job and you know, going out and trying to explore new things within my career, once I finally zoned into my calling, like what I do right now, I love it. I have literally walked into work with a smile on my face, super amped to sit there and granted I'm on a computer eight hours a day, literally staring at a screen, kind of slouching, but I have a stand up desk. Don't worry, I stand up. I'm active. I'm very active at work. I'm always like walking around or I'm standing up. It is hands down. It, it blows making money out of the water. It blows it out of the water, man. So that's why I'm saying it's important. Like go follow your passion, do whatever it is that you're meant to do because your happiness and your peace of mind and you're just being peaceful at your inner soul to me is more important than making dollar bills. Cause at the end of the day, when you, this is getting like real deep, but when we part from this earth, I would rather walk away with all my experiences and my memories from my life than to walk away with, with a bag of cash. That got real deep. Oh my God, this is going to take up my whole cooking time and I haven't even started cooking. All right, I'm getting serious. Magic. I'm gonna get this. This is the mixture of salt, sea salt, Italian seasoning, pepper, garlic salt, coriander. This is my first time using coriander. Today's a day of firsts. I'm gonna rub this pork tenderloin dough down with spices, olive oil, and then I stick it in the oven and it's game over for the pork tenderloin. Tablespoon of oil in a cast iron. I'm gonna sear the sides of this bad boy. I'm gonna stick it in the oven and then I'm gonna cut this acorn squash. I've never done it before, never used it. While I wait for that pan to heat up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make the rice and I don't need to say how to do it just because it's on a box and if you wanna know how to make rice aroni, long grain and wild rice, just read the box. It's pretty easy. Oh, I just thought I grabbed the chef's knife. That was not the case. Let's try that again. I got the right knife now. Okay, so apparently I just slice. Oh my God, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. All right, we cut this super cool Halloween decoration up and I'm gonna throw it on a pan. I'm gonna throw some flavor onto it, pop it in the oven. And then, yeah, I think my meal is going to be done in literally five minutes. So proud of myself. We're actually about to see if um, setting the oven at a higher temperature than the, re than the recipe recommends is going to make or break the dish because the recipe said 400 degrees and it's on 475. And that happened because I thought this was the only thing that was going to go in the oven today. But I messed up and it's okay. And I'm going to recover because this acorn squash is going to be out of this world. All right, now for the maple glaze for the acorn squash. Two tablespoons of, whoa, didn't spill any of that. That was pretty impressive. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of butter, a pinch of cayenne. And with that, the pork loin is ready. Pork tenderloin, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, it smells really good too. I'm gonna pour some sugar on it. That was as magical as it looked. Actually, even more magical than it looked. I'm literally giving this acorn squash an oil massage, free of charge. 
All right, I got butter, maple syrup, and pepper, cayenne pepper, and a pinch of salt. All right, this actually looks good, I think. I had to cut it in half because I wasn't really sure. See, that's good. And yes, yes, that burnt my fingertips. I'm gonna brush, oh my gosh. This is literally gonna be heaven. This is, this is not, this is not a joke anymore. This is like some serious throwdown in this kitchen. Check it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just dripped maple syrup on the counter. Let's check it out. This is it. And now that I'm all done, I'm ready to eat. Thanks for tuning in again to my episode of Bitchin' in the Kitchen. This pork tender one is probably gonna be amazing. And I think the squash is gonna be the real winner. I've never eaten this Halloween decoration before. That was just an explosion of flavor in my mouth. Keep on your grind, keep working hard, keep striving for success, and go out there and finish your week off strong. Peace out until next Thursday. I'll see you then.